Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here, and welcome to Dawn of War 3, the Orc Unit Deep Dive. Relic's been kind enough to share some footage with me of the newest rendition of the Dawn of War series, this time focusing on the Orcs. Now, last time it was all about the Space Marines and their epic drop pod goodness here on the channel. Now, they have talked about the Eldar, you guys can look up videos on that. Uh, I haven't done one, though. Uh, this time, it's all about the Green Tide, the Orc Hordes. How do they work this time around? Well, let's get into it. Oh, and keep in mind, this is all work in progress, and as I'm told, nothing's final till it's final. Also, this isn't every orc unit. I've seen some artwork for other units, but I couldn't get any intel on them, at least not yet. All right, let's get into it. Dorks, big, barbaric, brutal, battle-loving. Um, I'm, I'm out of B words. The orcs of the 40K universe are all about getting more DACA in the way of more tanks, guns, the more Daka, the more orcs, and eventually even bigger orcs, and eventually a war boss appears and guides the green tide on a path of destruction. The orcs this time around have a new overall mechanic that affects just about every unit in the field, looting and scrapping. Everything revolves around repurposing trash on the battlefield into a fighting force. Starting at the lowest units, the Gretchens can build orc structures, much like in the past games. They can also cobble together vehicles in the battlefield from a pile of scrap. Picking when to use a pile of scrap in the field to construct, say, a new vehicle, or having a unit loot it for upgrades is part of the ongoing strategy for the orc player. You can see the Gretchens here actually building a, there you go, a truck. Du Bois are the earliest orc unit, armed with a high-tech chopper. Eh, it chops stuff. Unlike the silly humans, the boys can rally themselves up into a war frenzy, giving them a bonus to damage and movement speed. They can also grab some scrap in the field to cobble together some armor. This is something you're gonna see quite a bit with the orcs, using that scrap in interesting ways to buff up your troops or give them brand new abilities. The Ludas are your ranged basic orcs, armed with the deaf guns. They can lay down good streams of firepower, but have a setup and tear down time. If they loot some scrap, they get a permanent upgrade to their heavy weapons, adding more damage and adding a slow effect. It's good for pinning down targets. As your base builds up and your army grows, you start to unlock bigger and meaner orcs, like the knobs. Squads of big brawlers armed with giant axe-looking death weapons, and they're heavily armored. They can taunt targets and even chuck their axes for a bit of ranged damage, which immobilizes the first enemy it collides with. If they miss, they can pick their chopper back up for a reset on their cooldown. Tank busters have hands down my second favorite ability for the orcs. No, it's not their basic attack that can take down armored units with their rockets. It's their ability to summon a bomb squig that'll rush a target's position and explode. <laughs> They're adorable. You can only use this if you actually have upgraded your busters with some scrap. So keep that in mind. Scrap is generated on timers at the WOG banners and in the field from dead enemies. Getting into the vehicles, the Killican is up first. Like all orc tech, it looks like it's on the verge of exploding any second, which is part of the charm, I guess? I'm an Imperial Guard player, I don't know. They aren't the tankiest, but they do get some fantastic burst damage with the rockets they carry. These rockets slowly reload after firing, so hitting hard with them and then pulling them back is probably a good strategy. If you upgrade them with scrap, you get six rockets instead of three for some more DACA. So the next unit in my list is, well, my absolute favorite, the truck. All right, who needs fancy schmancy jetpacks when you can just strap a catapult onto the back of a rickety motor vehicle and then launch your boys out the back for fun? Look at that distance. It can carry and shoot orcs right into combat. It also acts as a mobile resupply point for orc squads to get reinforced from. No more half-dead orc squads roaming about. Gotta keep the green tide tidy. Ah, oh, God, that was bad even for me. Grab some scrap with the truck and it gets a temporary shield upgrade. I'm not sure if I'd call that a shield. It's more like bits of metal strapped to the sides, but man, whatever, it's totally a shield. Now, I'll be honest, I prefer the Imperial Guard from Dawn of War 1. That's my chosen side. I hope we get an expansion for this that adds the Imperial Guard to it. So, I rarely play the Orcs. I mostly see them as targets for the big guns. Always fun to watch them fly off into the distance when a Basilisk round smacks right into the middle of a horde. But this time around, the Orcs have some sweet looking vehicle units. The big track is high on my list. It's a mobile artillery piece that screams more DACA. Unlike the Space Marines' already piece, this thing can fire on its own. It seems to have great range, good damage, and can even shoot mines across the battlefield. Last up, the Elite Units. Now, I know for a fact that this isn't the entire list of hero units. More are on the way, but here's what we know so far. Gorgut's Ed Hunter. Yeah, he's back from previous Dawn of War titles. 
big and green and with some interesting abilities. A grapple and claw that can fire out at a target and pull Gorgets to its location for some mobility. The spinning claw, which has this spinning ability where he spins his claw around and creating a protective sphere which can suck up damage that's meant for the rest of his troops. If he loots some scrap and manages to finish his spin and claw, he'll fire off celebratory rockets that will rally the boys, making them move faster and heal up some damage. Weird Boy Zepnaga's next up, and even for an orc, he's a little bit of an oddball. Not as tanky as the rest of the orcs, elite units, he focuses more on support and using scrap he finds as a shield. He also uses the scrap shield as charges for his abilities, collecting them up till they're needed. He can shoot shards of it out at a target direction with a scrap blast. This also gives a shield to friends if he ends up hitting them. Here We Go is an ability that lets Zabnaga teleport to a target position. He'll cause damage over time where he lands around him, and on completion of the teleport, any allies that are at his original location will actually get teleported to him. This will surely have some interesting strategies for players playing the orcs and moving about the battlefield. Fist of Gork is literally a fist made of scrap that rains down on target's position. On hitting its target, it kills fools, stuns, and immobilizes them in an area. The more charges of scrap shield he has, the better the shield is, and the better the range of scrap blast. Now, lastly, we've got Mech Wazmaka. I hope I said that right. Best way to describe him is a crazed orc inventor. His abilities focus on his tractor beam technology. If you can call orc your technology, uh, it seems like a stretch. He can drive his tractor beam, shield targets from damage, and slow enemies. He can call down scrap from orbit to crush his foes, even create spinning areas of scrap that'll fire out shrapnel with his scrap turret ability. For some added mobility, Wazmaka could even pull himself to scrap piles for looting. Each looted bit of scrap gives him more orbital scrap charges. Now, we've discussed scrap at length and how it can change and affect all the units in the field. Triggering a warg is still a mechanic in the game that builds up over time, which can be triggered to send your orcs into a frenzy. This actually stacks with the orc boy's ability to rally themselves, so making your orcs into an incredible threat once you've triggered everything, if you do it right. But the big mega ability that I haven't shown is fairly late tech, uh, is the rocks ability, which is like the most deadly game of hot potato ever. Basically, the orcs have a device that's pulling down a massive ball of metal death from orbit. This device, once deployed, can be picked up by one of your orc units and moved around the battlefield, so you can keep enemy units within inside its area of effect. As the massive metal asteroid of death gets closer and closer to the surface, smaller impacts begin to land all around the object and the unit carrying it, dealing damage to every enemy unit in the area. Now here's the kicker. The enemy can kill you and take the object, now, it won't do damage to the orc, so they can't really use it against you, but it can be grabbed by, say, a flying unit and taken away from the battlefield, making it fairly useless. Also making this probably the best and or worst game of hot potato ever, depending on who you are. Eventually, the big chunk of Metal Doom will hit the ground in epic fashion, causing tons of damage and leaving scrap piles behind. Now, keep in mind, this isn't the full list of units, but the orcs are kind of shaping up. I'm digging it. I'm looking forward to crushing them with the might of the Emperor. So let me know in the comments below what you think of the orcs so far. Are they missing something? This is the time to give feedback now that we've seen all the factions. Hopefully we see the rest of the units soon. I feel like the orcs are missing something big and epic, so I'm betting we're gonna see that announcement coming soon. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.